This is a brief overview on how to perform a short loop test on your Pet Control HQ dog containment system. If you're experiencing issues with your collar receiver not reacting to the dog fence function, but working well with the remote dog trainer, then we recommend doing a short loop test to identify whether the collar receiver is faulty or whether your layout is the issue. Disconnect your entire cable loop network from the transmitter box terminal points and connect only a short test loop of leftover new cable, say 30 feet or 10 meters long. Turn the transmitter dial up to 10. Test your collar receiver by using the test bowl provided and walking towards the wire with the collar receiver turned on and placing the test bulb over the metal prongs. When you near the wire, you should see the test bulb light up orange, indicating the collar receiver is shocking. Walk away from the wire and then back towards it each time to see that the collar receiver is shocking each time you near the wire. Please note the collar receiver has an eight second auto protection shutdown mode. So if it remains in the out of bounds area for longer than eight seconds, the collar receiver will stop shocking your dog. This is for humane reasons. Please note that the orange test bulb light may not be seen so clearly in broad daylight. So try doing the test at dusk or in a lower light environment. If all works fine on the short loop test, then connect your actual loop cable network back to the terminal points on the transmitter box and do the same tests by testing various sections of your boundary layout. If the test bulb does not light up when doing the short loop test, then please can you move the location of your transmitter box and redo the above test. The transmitter box needs to be at least 10 feet or three meters away from any major electrical appliances. For example, a refrigerator. Please note that our fence system has been designed for large yards and you need to use at least 330 feet or 100 meters for the system to work effectively. If you have used less than this amount of wire and you are finding the system is very unstable, then please insert the resistor. You can either refer to your user manual page 30 or our troubleshooting video on how to insert the resistor. Please only insert the resistor if you're using less than 330 feet or 100 meters of wire and your system is unstable. If you are still having issues with your collar receiver, then please reach out to our Pet Control HQ technical support team for assistance.